right? That's simple, right? He said you got two, right? Which one? Which one you gonna go in, right? So he talks about the narrow gate and the broad gate, and he talks about how the narrow gate is very difficult, right? It's very difficult. Then he talks about the broad gate being real simple or easy, or, or you know, easy to go to or go by, right? It amazes me because the narrow gate is related to that which is good, that which is right, that which leads to what everlasting life. He says, that's the hard way. But he says, easy or, or broad is the way that leads to death or destruction. I'm like, wait a minute. Jesus is trying to get you to understand that really and truthfully, that when we take a look at the broad and the narrow, that many people gravitate toward the broad because why? The broad way doesn't hold you accountable. Watch what the broad way does. The broad way allows you to lie in your mind that you're okay. Right? The broad way says, I'm going this way, I'm doing it for me, myself, and I, and I'm going to get it for me, and guess what, it's going to be like this, and I'm running, and I'm going 100 miles an hour, and Dorita used to tell me, boy, I don't go 100 miles an hour in the wrong direction. Right? So it, it, the, 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 the broad way causes one to really ignore what God has said, right? It says, narrow is the way that leads to life. How many of you can testify and shout with me that sometimes, just sometimes, most of the time, 99% of the time, it's very difficult to be upright, do what's right, without being persecuted and ridiculed? It's all. It's all. It's all. Right? And we put it in the kids' perspective, we call it peer pressure. Right? We call it peer pressure. Because why? Right? Why you can't do that? Right? Why you can't go there? Why you can't be a part of this? Why you can't stay up late? Why you don't have a phone? That narrow way is difficult because guess what? You have many looking at you as if swat. He's messing me up. Looking at you as if something wrong with you. Why? For doing what's right. Right? That's why the Bible says what narrow is way. Watch. Let me tell you what happens. I want to help us on today. What happens is because of our human nature, I want to help somebody today. And I, I, I think I've helped somebody already by the grace of God. What happens with us, right, it's human nature to be accepted. It's human nature, <laughs> right, to want to feel as if you're validated. That's why the Bible talks about narrow what is. It's difficult. Mm -hmm. Try standing up for something you feel is right and everybody else want to do something else. Right? They want to feed. Right? 
when, when, when they know what God says. Right? They want to fit in, but can I help you? The narrow gate causes you not to want to fit in. The narrow gate says that, guess what? I'm going to be holy and I'm going to stand out. And you might talk about it, but I know who I serve. Yes, I'm 
stuff like that is what? I'm ashamed of. But why? See, that's how we're able to step in and say, guess what? I see where you're going. I see what you're up to. And if you keep going, hey, it ain't going to be good. There is a way that seems it right, but the end, it leads to death. And let's be honest, there is a way that seems right. Do you realize that the world puts out different ideologies that sometimes even Christians try to hold on to? But you've got to understand, we've got to let the word what be the word. And let everything else be whatever it's going to be. Because there is a way that what seems it right. But the end thereof is the truth. Now I'm gonna use this, I'm gonna use this illustration and I'm gonna move on. Many preachers, you know, as this is back for the prosperity gospel and all this good stuff like that. That whole idea of the Lord wants you well, he wants you rich. You're the head, not the tail. You gotta speak it, right? If you can speak it, he'll give it to you. All that, all that stuff. Listen to me, listen to me well. Listen to me, listen to me well. I'm not saying that the Lord just wants us to live this miserable life, but we can't get caught up in a false narrative. So watch. Watch with some push. They'll push, the Lord wants you to have this, wants you to have that, wants you to have the other, and really, people will seek stuff before they seek the Savior. There's a way that seems right. But the end of it ain't too good. Right? You gotta, you gotta what? You gotta, you gotta get there. And you know what? I'm gonna share this with you. Listen to me. God showed me something real clear. The Bible clearly says that He's given us the power to gain wealth. Watch what God showed me. Sometimes my wealth is not always connected to the Lord just doing this. Sometimes my wealth is connected to keeping my tail out of the ball. Jesus. I done messed your heart. Mess your heart. The Bible talks about wisdom. You got to be disciplined. You got to be able to make those decisions that go up. Not necessarily give you so much more money, but keep money in your pocket. Amen. Praise the Lord. But we wait for the Lord to give us that big blessing. Boom! Let me hit that billion dollars, Jesus. <laughs> oh, I'm going to go. I'm going to go to the casino. See, the Lord want me to hit tonight. So, you know, he leads me to go to the casino tonight. <laughs> Don't blame that on Jesus. Blame that on Jesus. Don't blame that on Jesus. Somebody drop their wallet, drop a drop thousand dollars on the ground. Who the Lord wanted to bless me. That person, I in a while and get them people their money. <laughs> no blessing. Stop that. Stop that. Stop that. You see, I knew he was going to bless me. He pulled out the windows of heaven. Pulled me out of bless and I get down. But the end thereof is dead. 
Seems, seems, yeah. seems. We we'll stay there just for a minute, then we're going to move on. People of God, listen to me and listen to me well. We got to be careful because our minds, we got to guard our thoughts, people of God. Listen to me. Be careful what you listen to. Be careful who you let in your ear. Be careful who you hang around. Because what happens, there's a way that seems right. So why, if you don't protect it and guard it, what ends up happening, you embrace some stuff that God never intended for you to embrace. So what happened? There's a way you're gonna establish this way, and it's gonna it's gonna seem right what in your mind. But guess what? It ain't right at all. And guess where it's gonna lead you? It's gonna lead you to harm and destruction. Right? Seem is right. Seem is right. See, how many of you? Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. And, and you know, you got some, you know, we go through phases in life, right? There's different pursuits and all these different things you try to do, you know, things you try to acquire and all this other stuff, and things you try to go after and all that other stuff, right? How many of the Lord, how many of you, the Lord showed you that in, 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 a, in a brand plan that you had in your life, or you thought you had it together? Uh, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, I'm going to do the other way, yeah, watch what I do this, yeah, I'm going to get this alive, and blah, 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 blah. You got, you got that, that five year, 10 year, 15, 20 year plan laid out. Oh, gee, that, that, that's a way that seems right. And the Lord rocked your world and changed every last plan you had for this. You don't mind. You know what, though? God showed me something. If God, thank you, Holy Spirit. If God thinks enough of you, If God thinks enough of you to wreck your plans to keep from killing you, you better praise him. <laughs> Lord, have mercy. If God thinks enough of you to stop you from killing you or getting in your own way, you better give him thanks. <laughs> Ooh, I think, I think God, God did it my way, Jesus. Get in my way. Get in my way, Lord. And you remember? You remember? You remember? You remember Jonah? Lord told him to go to Nineveh. Now, mind you, Nineveh had some thugs and some gangsters. So he didn't want to mess around with Nineveh. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord was sending him to the hood. That's why he didn't want to go. Don't say, wait, well, never <laughs> What? <laughs> Guess what God did? God got in the way. God got in the way. And he said, uh -huh. I know what way you want to go, but are uh, you going this way? Yeah. You better thank the Lord for getting in your way when you was thinking crazy, doing crazy stuff, going in a direction that was going to kill you. You better thank God for getting in your way. Because there is a way that seems right to a man. But the end is what? Death. That's what the Bible says, right? So watch. It says, Enter by the narrow gate, for wide is the gate and broad is the way that leads to destruction, and there are many who go in by it. Many. Right? Many. So when it's talking about that broad gate, many go in by it. I want to help us on this one. Jesus is really referring to those who will make a commitment to following Christ. Because I'm going to tell you, in 2024, it ain't easy being a Christian. Well, let me, let me, let me back up. It ain't easy. Stand for certain things. You're gonna you're gonna stand up for certain things, and you're gonna 
You're not going to allow the world to what? To deter you, push you, and push you in a direction that God never intended for you to go. So watch. Here's what I want us to understand. Listen to me and listen to me well. I want you to hear me and hear me well. In 2024, right, when we take a look at society, we take a look at what's going on around us, right, we take a look at that Broadway, that Broadway really helps us to understand that there are many who go down that road, watch, for this very reason. They go down that road because it's more so of a majority mm -hmm. Right? Watch. Give me out. Give me out. It really has much of nothing to do with right or wrong. Can I help you? Uh, listen, if I make you mad, I'm 
I'm not trying to be no man. This time. Listen. You didn't have a choice whether you was coming to church. Why are you giving them a choice? No. Really, truthfully, in me, I want to trust. 
try to what? Try to be a little bit more, but no, Lord, I'm going to trust what you said. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm going to trust you with the results. Yeah. If you don't get anything else, get this. Trust God with the results. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. 